Hi guys, so I did the readings on Elizabeth Loftus and I'm going to start with answering number seven. Does Loftus' work suggest why people may come to confess to a crime they did not commit under repeated interrogation? And how do you think that might happen given her findings? I'm going to start with this because I found my own reading, um, which was an editorial piece in Psychological Science and the Public Interest called The Devil in Confessions. This was about the Innocence Project and how about a fifth of their cases are people who admitted to crime they didn't commit. And the police used tactics such as presentation of false incriminating evidence, like telling a suspect that there's camera footage of them or fingerprints or eyewitnesses for hours on end and also forming questions as if they know the event happened but they just need time like well when did you push her or when did you go back into the store things like that all of these things can implant false memories um, Dr. Loftus also talked about implanting false memories in her TED talk uh, about a study done on soldiers who were interrogated as part of a training exercise when the soldiers were fed information about a weapon that was supposedly presented during the interrogation, 27% of them claimed to have seen this weapon that wasn't ex existent. Later on, 90% of them claimed to have seen a non-existent telephone after being implanted with false memories of one. When they were shown a photo of a man who looked nothing like their interrogator, 84% of them later on went ahead and identified the person whose photograph was shown to be their interrogator. So then in comparison, when telling a suspect that you have them on tape after hours of interrogation, why wouldn't they believe this false memory that you've created in their mind?